All right, it just says solve. So can we figure these out pretty easily? Let's three fifths take away one fifth. Two fifths. So we aren't going to write it as a fraction, we're just going to write it the same way that they wrote it. Easy enough? Easy. All right, B, five fifths take away three fifths. Two fifths. Three halves take away two halves. One half. Six fourths take away three fourths. Three fourths. So this is easy peasy, right? I could change this to anything like we did earlier. I could say six popsicles take away three popsicles is three popsicles. As long as the units are the same, we can do it, right? If it said five cats take away two dogs, could we do that? No. If it said five fourths take away um, three eighths, could we do it? Eventually we will, but on this we haven't gotten that far yet. So the units have to be the same. Makes sense, right? I have a couple people that are choosing to talk still, so I'm going to wait until you're all with me. Thank you. All right, let's move on to number two. Five, six, take away three, six. Again, can we do that pretty easily? Yeah. Yeah, what's the answer? Three, six. Ooh, two, six. maybe we can't. Two, six. Two, six. Yes. If you get stuck, what can you do? <coughs> A number line if you wanted to. Yeah. All right, six, eights, take away four, eights. Two, eights. Two, eights. Ooh, what about this? What about C? Three tenths take away three tenths. Zero, zero, zero tenths. Five fifths take away four fifths. One fifth. Don't let the bottom number mix you up, right? Because it's pretty, you just have to bring it over. Five fourths take away four fourths. One fourth. Five-fourths take away three-fourths. Great job. All right, number three. Solve. Use a number bond to show how to convert the difference to a mixed number. Problem A has been completed for you. All right, so they did 12 eighths take away three eighths and got nine eighths. Do you guys agree with that? Yeah. Then they broke nine eighths into eight eighths and one eighth, and then they got one and one eighth. You guys agree? Yeah. Okay, me too. So let's go on to B and see if we can do the same thing as them. 12, 6, take away 5, 6. All we need to know to, how to do is what? 12 take away? 5. 5. What's 12 take away 5? 7, 6. 7. And then we'll bring that 6 over. So now we have 7, 6. How can I split this up? David, what do I do? 6, 6, 6. 6, 6, and 1, 6. How did you know how to do that, David? Um, because 7 is 1 more than 6, and 6 is 2. Yes, you got it. And 6 plus 1 is? 7. seven. So this is the same as what? Um, one six. hole and one six. One hole and one six. Give me a show of thumbs how you feel about doing that. Okay, I see them a little bit all over the place. That's all right, we're going to keep practicing. All right, C, 9 fifths take away 3 fifths. What's 9 take away 3? 6. And then we just bring the 5 over, so we have 6 fifths. All right. I need to make my hole. How many pieces do I need to make a hole? 5 fifths. Yep, I need 5 of them, 5 of my fifths. How many fifths will be left over? 1. One. So this is the same as what? One hole and one fifth. One hole and one fifth. All right, if this is easy for you, I'm so glad. But do we go ahead of what I'm doing? No. no. If I see you ahead of what I'm doing, it's automatically responsibility room, OK? There should be no reason to go ahead. 
All right, D, 14 eighths, take away 3 eighths. Is this Mr. Duvall? Yes. Hi, is, is John there? Um, he's in Ms. Dykstra's room right now. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, so 14 eighths, take away 3 eighths. 14 take away 3 is? 11. And then I just need to bring down my eighths. How many do I need for a hole? Eight. Eight eighths. 11 take away 8 is 3. So my mixed number is going to be 1 hole and 3 eighths. All right, go ahead and do the bottom two by yourself really quick, and I will do them on the board for you to check your work. If we matched both of them, give me a thumbs up. If we matched one of the two, give me a side thumb. If we matched zero, give me a thumbs down. Great. Awesome job. All right, let's flip it over. to use the words and not the fraction. So, good good guess. We haven't talked about that, so. Alright, two-fourths plus one-fourth is what? Three-fourths. Three-fourths. Just like it did on the other side, right? Four-fifths plus three-fifths. Seven-fifths. Were the other ones subtraction that we did? Yeah. Okay, so now it's just same idea on this page, but um, adding. adding. Yeah. All right, solve. Two eighths plus five eighths. Seven eighths. Four twelfths plus five twelfths. Nine twelfths. All right, six. Solve. Use a number bond to decompose the sum. Record your final answer as a mixed number. Problem A has been completed for you. Just like we were doing, right? All right, so let's scooch over to B. Four fourths plus three fourths is? Seven fourths. Seven fourths. Which can be split up into what? Four fourths. Four fourths, four fourths and what? Three fourths. Which is the same as? One and three fourths. Am I going too fast or are you guys good? I'm good. Okay, let's keep going then. Six ninths plus six ninths. Twelve nines. Which can be split up into nine ninths, nine ninths and three ninths. Which is the same as one, one three nine ninths. Great job. Bye. Have a good day. All right. Seven tenths plus six tenths. Which can be split up into nine tenths and three tenths. So this is the same as. Awesome job. Five, six plus seven, six. Twelve, six can be split up into what? Six. And what's another side? Six. So this is the same as what? Two. Two. <coughs> so that could be turned into anything, right? I could say I had five-sixths of a cup of coffee this morning, and then I only had seven-sixths in the afternoon. How much coffee did I have all together? Two cups, right? Yep. All right, last one, F. Nine-eighths plus five-eighths. Fourteen-eighths. Which can be split up into what? Eight-eighths and six-eighths. So 
this is the same as? One, one six, six, eight. eight. Awesome. All right, seven, solve. Use a number line to model your answer. So do we have to use a uh, number line? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it tells us to. Okay? So what do I need to label my first number line? I put my zero at the end. Do I put one down here? <coughs> what number do you put down there? Two. Two, because we have big fractions here. And then I need to split them up into fourths, right? All right, and I'll put seven fourths on there. And how many, so this one's subtraction, how many do I need to scooch it down? Five. Five. One, two, three, four. And where does it land right here? Well, let's see. Do we agree? Seven fifths take away five fifths equals two fourths? Yes. yes. Yep, I agree. All right, one more with addition. Then we're done. All right, so again, zero here. What should I put down here? We're adding this time. Two at this end, Devin says. Do you guys agree? Okay, I'll put my one, then I'll break it up into fourths. All right, what number am I going to put on my number line first? Five fourths. Five fourths, yeah, I'll put it right here. Now this time, do I go backwards again? No, I'm adding, so I need to go forward how many times? Two. Two bumps. Which brings me to five, six, seven, four. Do we agree with that? Yes. Great job. All right, you guys have about 20 minutes for, oh, please don't move yet. Your um, job is to do lesson 16 homework, okay? Got it? Yeah. All right, go ahead.